Now the Philippines is extending its lockdown in some areas. They are Metro Manila, the province of Laguna and Cebu City, which have been classified by health authorities as areas with a high infection rate. These areas will be placed under what's known as Modified Enhanced Community Quarantine until the end of May. Wendell Bernal with the details. There will be varying degrees of restrictions in different areas of the Philippines. Some areas will remain in some form of a so-called community quarantine, while restriction will be eased in others. It is in the epicenter where restrictions are tightest. That is in the capital region, Metro Manila, and the same set of restrictions will apply on two other areas with high infection rates. That's in Cebu City in central Philippines and in Laguna Province, south of Manila. Health Under Secretary Maria Rosario Vergeres says a big chunk of cases in Cebu are in closed institutions like jails with clusters of cases. Now, current restrictions under the so-called enhanced community quarantine in the capital region will largely remain after the current phase ends on May 15. What will happen after that is what is now called a modified enhanced community quarantine. That's from May 16 to May 30. And the main difference of that from the current measure in place is that uh, the operation of selected manufacturing and processing plants up to a maximum of 50% of the workforce will be in place. There will also be limited transport for essential goods and services. In other words, there were added industries exempted to the strict stay home rule. In those areas with the extreme, with the most extreme form of the lockdown, including Metro Manila. Now, among those already exempted and will continue to be exempted from the stay home rule are those working in the healthcare industry, the cargo and food delivery, groceries and pharmacies, garbage collection and funeral services, capital markets, among others.